About a month ago, um, Sarah's older brother, Adam, was tragically killed in a car accident. Adam was a twin in Sarah's family. He's irreplaceable. He was one of our biggest supporters. He was always so interested to talk to us. I think the only comfort that we have is that we talked every week mm -hmm. as a family. And our last words to each other were, I love you. See you later. I think it's important to always leave every conversation like it's your last because life is fragile and we can all be taken at just a blink of an eye. You never expect it to be something so tragic. And our, our thoughts are with Adam's family, with his children and with his wife. It's going to be greatly missed. Yeah. But we would like to just thank everybody out there that's that's sent us a nice message. Uh, we really do appreciate it. In our highs of passing lows, extend with all the colors. I have finished pegging all of the screw holes, and now a few of the places need something else other than a peg. So we're gonna mix up some epoxy with the sawdust from the orbital sander that came from this wood. Pause. Fun. Good. Fun stuff. <laughs> now we gotta do one more of this. Ready? Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Love is true, love is kind. Love it waits when you're out of time It won't fail, it won't cease Love can hold all the hope you Say or what I do, love will always turn and face the truth in our highs of passing lows. It can stand with all that comes and goes. We're our car in love. We're all brought to love Something now and then Love is true, love is kind This week's episode has been kindly sponsored by Verb Energy. You are a professional tradesman and you drive a professional truck. In that professional truck, you have professional tools. You also professionally vacuum all of your molding. When I'm working on the house, it's very common for me just to skip lunch altogether. Sometimes I'll bring a little snack though. My snacks are usually pretty low key, a banana, an apple. Now that Sarah's joined me, it's important to point out that she doesn't eat anything that has processed anything. She makes the kids three meals a day from scratch. Um, and she's really conscious about what goes into her body. Me, not so much. Like I had Dairy Queen for lunch today. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> but Sarah said, that she would even try this, which blew me away. Each Verb Energy Bar is low in sugar with just 90 calories. They contain familiar ingredients to provide a great source of energy, keeping you revitalized for the day. They're also gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. Put me on 
Thomas bar. You said you would. It has caffeine in it. I can't have it at five. Green tea caffeine. Just take a little bowl. Sarah's worried about staying up all night. <laughs> this is probably the most treaty thing that she's had in 20 years. The caffeine that you find in Verb Energy Bars is derived from green tea. So it doesn't give you any kind of a crash or jitters. Jitters around a table saw, it's not what you're looking for. It tastes like something I would make. Yeah? Yeah. So it tastes like a homemade, mm -hmm. like uh, what are those, like granola bar, like homemade granola bar. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It's good. Now, they're small, but I don't mind that because they can go in your pockets. The first thousand people to go to the link in the description, they're gonna be able to get four of these, not three, four, four of them. And it's like a trial. And all you have to pay is 95 cents. The trial kit gives you the opportunity to buy four of their top flavors, blueberry crisp, pumpkin spice latte, salted peanut butter, and vanilla latte. So far, my favorite flavor has been blueberry crisp. Some of their other flavors include double chocolate, lemon raspberry, coconut chai, and peppermint mocha. And in July, which is right now, they're launching their brand new limited edition flavor, peanut butter cup. I'm 100% gonna be getting some of those. Thanks a lot, Verb Energy, for sponsoring this week's video. I appreciate it. And I guess we should just get back to some work now, huh? We have been here for three months trying to figure this machine out. We finally got it. And you can see the profile. Funny thing is we're using this as a test piece and we put the profile on one side, then pro put the profile on the other side. And magically, we found the piece of trim that we want to use in the hallway now. I'll show you. About a seven inch gap here from casing to casing. Had no real plan on what we were going to do here. And we just found out that if we just take our baseboard molding and put a profile on one side, profile on the other, it makes a nice little symmetrical look. Love it. Looks awesome. It's not exactly how it will be. Um, I'll be trimming the outsides just a little bit, but it gives you a good idea of what that will look like. That looks pretty cool. And I could put something right down the center of this board if I wanted to, but I kind of like the flatness. And that's, uh, if you're wondering, maybe two inches wide right there. So it's like two inch, two inch, two inch or so. Yeah. Anyways, happy little accident right there, Bob Ross. Hey! Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Hey. Hamburger. Hey. Oh. Hey. Gotta be thicker. I think the baseboard needs to be thicker. It can't be three quarter inch wood that we start with. Which is cool because, you know, we bought a whole bunch of three quarter inch. And the store had inch thick. And I saw it after the fact and I said, ooh, inch, oh, I should get that. I really should get that. Emphasis on should. You can see the difference here. This is three quarter inch wood. Look at this little top line. See how thin that is? It's very thin. This is the baseboard that I've already made, a whole bunch of it. Look how much thicker that is, the top, this top piece. It's, it's way more substantial. It won't break as easy as this. So what's super disappointing about this weekend in particular, let's get close, this is a drama moment. We tried to rent the machine to sand the floor. That didn't work out. I didn't think I was gonna have to make a reservation, but I did. So we, we couldn't get the sander until next weekend. It's a little bit of a bummer because that's really what I wanted to do was sand that, sand the floor. And then we're, we're like, oh, we'll get the wood and we'll make the baseboard, which we got the wood and now it's not the right wood. It's just hard to explain this one. 
Uh, okay, let me shut the door. All right, so windows on each side of the door and the door, it's not the same. This, I'll tell you exactly what it is. From my rough framing to my window, on this side is eight and three quarters. On this side is 10 and 5 eighths. Not a huge deal. You know, I'm, I'm okay with that technically, but there is something I could do to make that look better. I think I can show you this. All right, once I nail this piece into place, what that does for me is it gives me a really good backer for, for really uh, thin, this is quarter inch material. So now adding an inch onto this side will get me to 10 inches when just doing a quarter inch on this side gets me to that a little less than 11 inches. That's pretty good. The alternative would be not much different, but I think you know me by now. If I can, I can make it look three quarters of an inch closer. It's worth it. Hashtag worth it. Something now and then. We're all caught in love, we're all brought to love, something now and then. You know, this, this, uh, this will never look perfect. It just kind of can't. It looks really good though for about where the average person looks. <laughs> That's a thing. That is a thing. Um, now as far as the wood though, that's very, very good. Very solid. Had that little piece of wood that you saw me put in, and then I actually planed a half inch piece of plywood to quarter inch. That was way better than buying a quarter inch sheet of plywood for one eight inch piece. Um, put it right in there. Hey! How do you think? I mean, it, it, it will work, right? Um, yep, eventually. So go ahead and close that and see if your hand has enough room to open it. I was a little worried about that. How is it? It's okay. I bet I can fit three more in my hands. Three? Let me see. All right, it's been a while since we've recorded anything or worked on the house. Nothing really to update because we haven't been working on the house. We just went this morning and picked up more clear pine. This is, um, they call it five quarter, but really it's just an inch thick. I think I explained earlier in this video that we decided to go with thicker wood for the baseboard just so we get the profile that we want. And then one cool thing to share is I picked up this bed on uh, what, Facebook Marketplace probably about a week ago. It's like solid brass. I guess it's from Europe. It's old. It's got some marks and stuff on it. It can probably be cleaned up, but I got that for $75. And I just really like the, the random detail of it. It's really cool. So this will probably be mine and Sarah's bed because we have a queen size bed now and that seems to work for us. And, um, as far as what we're doing today, if we're capable, if we're able to, because we have some helpers that seem to be awfully attached to one of my employees right now, we need to rip all of the long 16 foot boards on a table saw to get to the right thickness, uh, width, thank you. And then I think that machine, the molding machine is set up. So maybe we could make the molding today, it just depends on how long it takes us to rip them all. Good enough because I don't think I have another 
Let's look for a, br a new 10 inch blade. I found it. When skies are falling, please believe this. I will be here to pick up the pieces when lies are crawling. We've decided to go ahead and run that first board through the molding machine just to make sure that if we cut all of these to that size, um, that we're not going to have any problems. I, it's a lot of money in lumber. If you made a mistake, it would be very bad. That looks good though. Yeah. Man, that's nice wood. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty impressed. For, for like 60 bucks a board. You, so that's just one pass right there. It's gonna change quite a bit from pass to pass. Once we confirmed that the molding machine was dialed in, then we went back to the table saw to finish all the cuts. Skies are falling. I pick up the pieces. Now I will speak the truth. I will believe in you alone. You alone. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy that we went with the thicker boards. It, it looks so much better than it would have. But what's nice is you get that full, full profile cut and then it's still wicked thick on this tip. So that's strong. Yeah. So now we just gotta go through and sand and prep and sand and that will be ready to go. That's mm -hmm. carefully. Making the baseboard like that with with the lumber that you just buy is so much faster. It is. The other stuff, like literally you joint it, cut it with the table saw, then plane it, and then make your molding. And it probably took an extra two or two or so days of work. Here we just bought it and ran it through the machine and it's done. Kinda. Um, and it doesn't feel any less like something special. I mean, you're still making the molding. No, and I mean, because it's so thick, it just seems like... Yeah, it seems nicer. Yeah. It doesn't look like something you would buy in a store. I mean, this is really thick 
And I think in all of this, I might have seen two knots. There's one, really nice. one there, and there's only one other. So really good stuff. Well, well worth it probably, money wise. I got about five minutes before they yeah. need something from me. Um. So where we left off yesterday, we've got the molding roughly made, but we need to kind of make some room up here. We're anticipating next weekend to be able to sand the floor. And then in order to do that, it needs to be cleaner. And for this to be cleaner, the basement needs to get cleaner. And for the basement to get cleaner, the barn needs to get, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was a joke. But the basement is a mess. It's been a mess for a while. Do you want to help me down there? Sure. Ant. Missed. I have everybody right now in what I would consider the clean corner. <laughs> a lot of off cuts over here, off cuts over here. And then I have a certain somebody over here that won't let me throw a lot of that away. Okay, I'm gonna do a time lapse from here. I don't even know where to start. I've really wanted to do for a while now and, and since it's cleaning day I'm gonna get the pressure washer out and I'm gonna clean off my table uh, it's not a table saw it's kind of it's a tile saw it's just really dusty and dirty this really should have been cleaned off like a year ago when I was using it better late than never well that's gonna do it for this episode thank you so much for being here and supporting us and watching us through this renovation we really appreciate it if you liked the video and you're listening to this please hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment because it really does help the channel that's it we'll see you all next week I've been giving my love, I won't